Well, I tried my day seven and just could not do it. I started out all tape, but it lasted probably two seconds. I am in so much pain that um, I thought it was the best idea just to not push myself today and just let my body heal. If you're in pain, obviously you're in the process of healing. And when you're building muscle, you need that healing time and then you need to break it down at least from the research i've done that's my understanding of it so i don't think my 90 day challenge is going to be quite 90 days i know i'm going to at least add another week to it because i think what i'm going to do is go back and start it from the very beginning and my goal is going to be just to to start it and see how far I can get through it and try it another day until I regain the strength. There's also a definite psychology going on where, you know, keeping yourself healthy and in good shape. There's a psychology going on of why things are preventing us from doing the things we know we should be doing. For me, smoking is one of the things that I can see is stopping me, and I need to get at the root as to why I smoke and cure that cause, and I'm sure I will be able to work out a lot better if I can cure that cause as to why I'm smoking, and I know what's going on with it, but I'm in the process of it. I'm also seeing that I'm dealing with a lot of disagreement. Um, my mind is, is disagreeing with my body and it's definitely, you know, in, there's a bigness and smallness to things. In the smallness quantum level, the thoughts that are going through my head are definitely reflected in the bigness of my experiences. Uh, which means the thoughts that I'm having in my head are definitely creating the, the amount of pain I'm dealing with. A lot of things are psychosomatic. I probably am not in, as in as much pain as the thoughts that are in my head creating the pain. So those are things that uh, I'm working on. And anybody that's sort of viewing from my diary this is not I know all of the answers it's I've you know with the amount of trauma that I've had to experience and trying to seek out help for it I didn't find any help out there at all um, if everything happened to me a good 50 years ago oh they would have institutionalized me I would be perceived as definitely totally mentally ill and that's only because I see things from a totally different perspective that nobody else can understand and in order for me to appear sane and not insane I've had to do an awful lot of research to find out you know okay here's the proof I'm not crazy there are scientists, the smartest brains on the planet are saying the same thing. The only problem is, is that a lot of these people, scientists, um, if, if you read everything, they contradict each other. But if you get rid of all of their contradictions, then the good stuff rises to the top. And I don't see anybody sort of formulating the rise to the top except for hollow dynamics it's about the closest thing that I found of a tool that helps um, uh, solve all problems actually it claims to be a tool that solves all problems known to the human experience the one and only problem this thing has is it can't identify the unknown problem so what good is a tool if you can't identify a problem and basically, um, where I perceive that little gap is all problems appear to be out there when they're actually coming from internal. And um, you can find out any problem you have by a complaint or an excuse. If you have 
you know, a complaint or excuse, then that's your problem. <laughs> it's coming from you. And, you know, so when I say there's a lot of things, a lot of trauma that was done to me, this is a time where you really got to be honest with yourself and look in the mirror and say, okay, how am I creating this? How am I causing this? And you will find your own personal answers. Now, the conflicts that I'm dealing with, I can see there's a lot of other conflicts in the world. And that's the purpose of my diary is to um, sort of uh, show the conflicts that I'm seeing. We're all in conflict. We're all supposed to be this one, you know, humanity, you know, but we're all in disagreement with each other. And that disagreement, I'm getting caught up in that emotion of it. Um, I find that there's a lot of disagreement within our court systems, our medical systems, our government systems, our family systems, our community systems. Uh, you know, so there's so much disagreement. And, and you have to get caught up in the emotion of it. And that's where I'm at right now, is I'm caught up in the emotion of all of the disagreements that are going on. And I'm in the process of sorting all of that out. And, you know, you just take it day by day. And you just constantly have to reflect. I think these workouts are really good because it helps you see where you are in your own development. I'm making this diary to, you know, I found answers but it doesn't mean as soon as you find answers poof your life will change it's um, it's a constant reflection it's a constant reflection and will take a process and that's where I'm at and I know that things can happen instantly so why things aren't happening instantly means there's a process that needs to be worked through but once you can get work through those you develop your skills and then you're able to make things happen like I, I've had the experience I've showed it on a few other tapes that uh, we do have an awful lot of skills that were not developed uh, we've had little insights to things that we haven't put the pieces of the puzzle together and I, it's like I've just read the books and I'm in process of and writing a diary. So here's my really quick workout and I will try day eight will be my day one. <laughs> Peace out.